Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into it, it'd be massively appreciated if you went ahead and dropped a like on the video. Cheers. So Kamar Roof only lasted 15 minutes before being taken off with another injury during Rangers' encounter against St Johnston. The Jamaican striker led the way for Philip Clement's team. However, after the first period, the 30-year-old was unable to continue and was replaced. Cyril Dessers took his spot and scored a few minutes later. Roof did display his fury at having to leave the pitch by removing his shirt and heading straight up the tunnel. So throughout his career at Ibrox, he has been plagued with injuries and has missed 84 games in total since he arrived in Glasgow from Leeds United. With his last three injuries being knee injuries which seem to be his latest problem right now. He is although still valued at 2.3 million. However his current deal is set to expire in the summer and it's not looking good for the striker. The big problem is when he seems to be fit he does have an impact for the team. But shortly after his run in the team after his return from injury it's never been long before he is out injured again. Leaving us in a situation where we are paying big wages for a player who isn't delivering while sat at home. And according to salarysport.com. The experienced striker is on 26,000 per week in Glasgow, making him one of the top earners at the club. Surely his time in Glasgow will be finished at the end of his current deal, leaving plenty money on the table for Clement to spend in the summer, as it looks like he is just another player who will have an injury-plagued career, similar to Ryan Jack for example. And if we can get some of these players off the books in the summer, then that will definitely give us and Philip Clement plenty money to go ahead and spend in the transfer market. So what do you guys think? then. If I'm honest about it, I actually do like him as a player, and if he was the type of player who could stay fully fit like James Tavernier for example, then we would have a serious striker on our hands who would be scoring 20 or more goals easily each campaign. Unfortunately, we do have a habit of signing injury prone talent and have done for years now, and I think we all would keep him in Glasgow for years to come if he could stay fully fit. However, if we are honest about it, that won't happen and it's probably best that we do let him leave in the summer, and cut our losses and invest his wages into players who don't have so much issues and can stay fully fit for their full campaign. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments and subscribe for daily videos. Cheers.